Hello and welcome to Crisis 2. Um, that was just the loading screen and I have no idea what's going on there. It just took me a long time to get into this game and uh, this is where you select your class. You can see there's a couple of them that I've unlocked here. I've been playing this for a little while and I'm doing a first impressions piece on it now. I've got a custom made class here which is going to be the best class ever, obviously. Um, and I'm also not really sure what's going on with the sound of this game. It's absolutely terrible. If you have a look there, everything's on the lowest, so if it's still too loud, then I really can't help you with that. Um, I tried. <laughs> I really did. So, um, I'm, I chose a sniper-ish class. I've got a sniper rifle here. And, um, I, yeah, like I, like I said, first impressions piece on the beta. What I, what I think about it, um, how the game plays, and so far, I gotta say, ooh, I'm being shot at. I gotta say, it's pretty fun, and um, I'm enjoying it. I don't know, it, it just feels to me like, I'm, I didn't play very much Black Ops or anything like that, so I don't know how that ga how it compares to that, but uh, it, it looks to me like it feels like Black Ops plays, or any of the other Call of Duty games, and there's some nice water here, but I gotta say, and you probably won't disagree with me, that the game does look really, really good. Um, I'm playing a sniper class, like I said, so I'm gonna be playing really, uh, I'm, uh, I could say sneaky and that'll make me sound a lot cooler than I actually am, but I'm going to play like a chicken and just run around and hide in little corners like this. Look at this. This is a perfect spot for someone like me. Um, I can just sit around here, survey the area and um, and find out, you know, if there's someone I can pick off that, that doesn't suspect it. So, um, like, uh, like I was saying, it took me long to get into this game and that is, uh, I suppose, an understatement because it took me ages, like, th there's something wrong with the whole joining and starting a game mechanic. I don't know what they were doing, I don't know what they were thinking, there's someone down there, did you see that? I saw that. Um, I'm gonna, oh, 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 I was gonna say I'm gonna run in there and kill him, but... No, that would have been a good shot if it worked through the wall. Um, but there's something wrong with the whole joining and, and leaving and starting games, and I don't know, something like that, there's something wrong there, and, um... I, I just think that that obviously needs to be fixed or, or sorted out before they launch this game because at the moment it's pretty unplayable that way. It it took me probably about a half an hour just to find to get into a game, and now that I'm in here, I mean I gotta say it's fun. I'm enjoying it. Uh, not that I really know exactly what I'm doing, but oh headshot. Um, I'm probably playing against Uber noobs because I'm actually getting kills. So ooh, ooh, zoom in. There's someone here. Uh, I guess I see you. Come around the corner. No! You know, that would have been such a nice ki Here's someone over there. I see you, sneaky little man. I wow, that's fast. That is really fast. And I can't believe I didn't get him. I'm going to go look for him because that's just how brave I am. And there's someone fighting up here. I'm going to jump up there now. Come on. Oh, we can do it. Yes, I'm in. Okay, so a few things that the game has that other games like this don't have. Um, if you're not a Crisis fan, if you don't know what's going on with the whole series... There is the nano suit. Dum dum dum. That's the suit that all the guys wear here. I, mean, I know it's probably has a different name for the different factions or whatever, but I'll call it that for now. And um, it gives you some special abilities. Like this. This is armor. Maximum armor. The suit even says that when you activate it. Why am I not finding anyone here? I'm actually not sure why the people are so scarce. I'm just going to guess that everyone chose the sniper class and everyone's just camping because... Um, I'm gonna walk slowly up here. Shh. We're gonna find these guys. Okay, someone's shooting at me from the other side. There he is, there he is. I see you, I see you. I'm gonna zoom in now and... BAM! Okay, so that's not bad, Swin. You're doing okay. Um, if I can just find someone else to shoot at now. I see you, I see you, I see you. And BAM! And he shot me first! I can't believe that. I I'm really sure that was a headshot. But, um, you know, let's not fret over the small details. Um, so yes, the nano suit. Oh, well, I'm getting distracted here. The nano suit. Cloaking. Cloaking engaged. Now, cloaking does work quite well. There's a bit of a, sh a shimmer, so you can actually see people who are in cloak, but um, it's actually it's it's still pretty difficult to see them, especially at the long range that I'm uh, that I'm looking at right now. You know, I'm not going to see anyone over there if they're cloaked. Um, and then you get these little extras as well, uh, little perks that you can choose for your class. I wonder if I can go in here. And uh, they do things like make you see cloaked units easier. No cure. Hmm, that's that's dismal. Anyway, uh, things like that. And I said, like I said before, I don't know very much about it, so I can't really say. Um, but there are little perks that you can choose. Your character actually levels up while you play. 
Um, and as for like the other things, there's a uh, let me try find it. No, I don't know. There's maximum armor, maximum, uh, maximum, not maximum, cloak, just cloak. Someone shoot me. Someone shoot me. Must find them. I see him. 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 And he saw me first, so he killed me. Okay. <laughs> anyway, and then the classes. You get a machine gunish class. You just saw that over there. You get a, a scout which has a shotgun, um, which seems pretty cool to me. I don't know if a scout moves faster, perhaps something like that. But uh, you know, I'm getting shot at again. No. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm really. This is not. Oh man, that guy is such a noob, and he killed me. Terrible. Ter terrible. And then sometimes these guys talk to you and say, "There's some guys at the coffee shop," but. I think the coffee shop's over there, because I have been playing this map a little while. So... Oh, no, maybe the coffee shop's over there. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good... Qu well, I just saw someone over there. I saw a cloak shimmer. I I am very sure I did, and now he's shooting me. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna run. I'm not gonna hide. <laughs> I'll run, I'll get a bit of vantage point, and I'll go back and kill him, because... You know, that's how snipers roll. And I'm a sniper, and I'm playing the role. So... Oh, I just said roll twice in a row. That didn't sound good. Anyway, okay, so the issues that I was talking about before, I'm going to try, I mean, it's really difficult talking and commentating, or actually, no, it's actually easy talking and commentating, but talking and actually saying something that makes even the slightest bit of sense, and uh, playing at the same time and not sucking terribly, that's quite difficult, and then, you know, why does it take so long to kill him? So that's quite difficult. Um, I'm not a big FPS player myself, okay, I, I uh, you know, I used to play a lot of Quake, back in the day, and cloak engaged, and it doesn't help me one bit. You know, I keep getting caught out like that, and I have no idea where these guys are shooting from, and uh, that's one of the things that I really just suck at. You know, I don't know if any of you guys have this, but I just really don't, I, I, I can't see people, I, I can't see, like, they could be standing right there in that window looking, now Sean's throwing a grenade at me, they could be standing right there looking at me, um, and I could probably look at them right between the eyes, stare at them down my scope, and I probably wouldn't know that they were there. So, that is how I roll when I play games like this. But, uh, you guys can let me know if you have the same problem. I suppose that's the bad thing about playing Quake, because, uh, it gets you used to that pick map and those big bright characters. Um, so, the issues. I keep talking about the issues, and then I just stop. Um, no DirectX 11 in the in this demo. Okay, that's bad. Uh, not bad, it's just not good. Because this game is all about the graphics. I think I just saw someone down there. Um, it's all about the graphics, and... You know, if you don't even have the... the I don't know, I suppose, the current standard in your game, um, which is DirectX 11, then it's just not good. It doesn't say much for, for the launch of the game, which is not, not too long off, as far as I know. Anyway, so that's, that's the thing that a lot of people are complaining about. I'm trying to shoot this guy. I wonder if I'm going to get him. There you go. Um... Another thing was the server stuff, like I mentioned. Another thing was that there's apparently an auto-aim feature um, on a PC game, and that's... What is that? That's unheard of. I'm going to snipe you, buddy. That, what is that? Okay, why is he glowing yellow? And then he, I died anyway. Okay, so there's an auto-aim feature, and that guy killed me with one single bullet. Uh, terrible. Um, that's, so that's a big issue that people have. Um, otherwise, I can't really think of very much else. Uh, there's not very many graphics options. You get three choices. It's something like um, hardcore, gamer, and the last one escapes me. Advanced, I think maybe. Uh, and that's uh, I don't know about you guys, but that is not really sufficient. Not at all. Um, so I hope they have something better than that in the full version. Is there someone right behind that pillar, or am I staring at nothing? No, I'm staring at. But there's someone right here. I saw blood. Buddy, you are bleeding. I'm gonna get you. I'm going to get you. Just show you. I'm gonna jump down there and find him. Pistol time. Is he hiding? Did he run away? There's a back door. Oh my goodness. Okay. Typical. Typical. Swain doesn't know the map. Um. I swear someone just cloaked over there. No, I'll just. I'll just shoot the wall. Um. This game makes you paranoid. 
because you're gonna keep seeing people cloak in where they're not actually cloak in, and then they're gonna kill you just out of nowhere. They're gonna kill you like that. Um, but anyway, the game is a lot of fun. It feels it's quite fast paced. I mean, the c it controls well, and if you have a decent PC, no, no, actually, if you have a, a, a pretty good PC, then it runs well. Um, I'm running at 720p at the moment for recording purposes, and uh, I see you there. I see you. And it's running very well. I mean, I'm getting a constant, steady 60 FPS, and Fraps is, is handling it quite well. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, you know, sorry about this, the radio silence for a second there, but I really wanted to kill that guy before the timer ran out. I want to kill this guy now. And someone else got beat me to it. Um, there's a few seconds left on the clock. I wonder if I can get another kill. No, but I won anyway. Yes, victory. So there are two maps in the beta, uh, the demo. I keep saying beta because that's just what I'm used to. And apparently, Game Homie was the most valuable player. You know, I very much doubt that. I'm pretty sure I was the most valuable player, but um, I suppose we can just give that to him for now. Uh, I'm gonna have a look at the other map, possibly, if I can get to the the other map. Um, uh, what happens is after the after the missions complete then you get awards stuff like this highest no yeah these are awards from the mission so highest fall without dying that was me least shots fired that was also me <laughs> and I don't know if that's a good award to be getting and most kills with friendly with a friendly within 15 meters okay sorry I'm misreading that um, so I want skyline now I'm gonna vote for skyline and I mean I gotta say this whole lobby system is very console-ish and it does work when it's up and running. Let's just say that. Okay. So when you're actually in a game playing, then it's fine. But when you're trying to get into a game to actually start playing, then it's terrible and it, it absolutely sucks. Hey, wow, this is cool. And I just found something new. I get to choose a cool picture. Um, I'm going to choose that one because it has some nice lighting effects. Uh, another thing I haven't been talking about very much is actually the graphics of the game. And as I said in the start, I don't need to tell you that it looks amazing because you can see that. Um, th there's a lot of bloom, excessive bloom, uh, lots of lens flare, stuff like that. You know, if you can, you can throw that into pretty much any game, and it will look good. It doesn't matter like what the rest of the game looks like. Just mass that bloom, um, and people just won't even realize what like if if it ever looks bad. So this next map is called. Uh, skyline and we play in a, a game mode which is crash site so this is a king of the hill type of thing and uh, a, a pod lands uh, or uh, gets shot out from outer space wherever it gets shot down from it lands somewhere in the map and you have to along with your team stand around and it's sort of like a Arathi basin in WoW I can't believe I'm comparing it to that but you've got to stand around and uh, take control of it um, and then just before, like, it it's expires after a while, and just before it expires, it'll blow up. And that'll obviously do a lot of damage to you, so I'm going up here to the top, because I'm a sniper, and I need a vantage point. So let's see. Oh, this is a very nice looking map. Look at all the stuff flying around here. Um, and I don't know how to use the UI, the HUD, because <laughs> I, I probably should be looking at it to see where the opponents are, but I'm not. Uh, I guess I'm just baller like that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna shoot you in the head. <laughs> Did you see that pause for good measure there? I had to think about it first. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was an enemy or friend, buddy. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, if I can just find some more people and kill them, it'll make me look a lot better because I have to redeem myself. The previous game was pretty bad. Um, I'm gonna shoot you now. Come here, Daedalus. I know that's Dazu, sorry. Did he cloak? I'm gonna cloak too. Because if he cloaked, I have to cloak, and this is him right here, isn't it? I'm gonna shoot these bushes now. <laughs> this is me being totally paranoid, probably for no reason at all. Um, reload the guns quickly. But, yes, as you can see, the graphics are amazing, and I know that a lot of the single player is actually based around New York, and New York is looking absolutely amazing here. I'm assuming this is New York. If it's not, I apologize for all the New Yorkers out there for not recognizing your fine city. Um, and I'm just running around like a crazy person now, not even really caring that there are people out here trying to kill me. Um, there are some really cool abilities and stuff that you can get, like this funny air stomp kind of thing. I need to equip my sniper rifle, don't I? Um, that you jump up and then you press duck when you're in the air and then it, it does a ton of damage to anyone under you. 
uh, it looks pretty difficult to pull off because, especially f considering the fact that the game has a nice sprint system, which is pretty quick. Um, I'm going to put cloak on now, and I'm going to try get around and, and sneak in and, and try kill this guy with my pistol. I'm just shooting at the name now, and I'm absolutely doing terribly. There's a grenade next to me. Get out of here quickly, uh, buddy. <sighs> Terrible, Swin. You're an embarrassment, Swin. I should get a machine gun. I really should. So I'm going to try a different gun in just a second because I do think that you guys need to have a look at both the guns. And I love this Prince of Persia-ish, Assassin's Creed-ish style of jumping up things and grabbing on. I wonder if I can do it here. Let's jump up, grab on, jump up, grab on. It doesn't matter that you're shooting me. I'm going to do a backflip before I die. <laughs> My guy's got some terrible aim as well. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, look, I'm not even doing the, the objective here. I'm supposed to be <laughs> going for the crash side. I'm just running around like a crazy. You're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. There you go. That's good stuff. That is good stuff. I'm gonna jump up here because this looks like a good vantage point. And then I'm gonna jump and crouch and shoot. Please. No, 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 no. And there, yeah, I can just run and gun these guys. That's just not saying much for the realism factor. But then again, I'm wearing a nano. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Things getting a bit frantic here. Um, oh, I can just. Oh my god, I was going to say I was just pick up a gun there. But never mind. Oh, look how fast I jumped there. I'm like some sort of predator. Okay, so I'm going to jump up here and get some good. Oh, good, goodness. Jumping through the. Jumping through the, the glass roof. Clever. Nice ones win. Oh, this is an enemy. <laughs> Shoot him with a pistol. Shoot him with a pistol, Swin. Yes, busted. And there's another one. Quickly, we can finish this one off too. And that's a double kill. Uh, was it? Or did someone else shoot him? I probably... I'm going to assume someone else did. There's a gun line over here. Let's take it. Come on. Press mouse 3 to exchange. Oh my goodness. This is a big machine gun. Okay, time to test this baby out. Uh, and that guy, that's a terrible way of playing, okay? If you ever see me playing like that, don't play. Just, just be very rude or something. Leave a very, very rude comment. This gun looks cooler. There you go. That's better. Buddy, I've got a... Never mind. I take that back. I don't have anything. You can kill me. Um, but any So I'm actually supposed to be doing the first impressions here. All I'm actually doing right now is talking about my failings and shortcomings. But if I had to go back to the first impressions part, uh, fun, that's number one. Amazingly good looking, that's number two. And uh, it's got it's got its share of bugs and stuff, okay? I mean, all games that are, I don't know. I was going to say beta again, but I really shouldn't because it's not a beta. Um, and it's actually getting very close to launch. That's not no excuse there, really. No. Okay, good. I was going to say, if I don't get that kill, I'm going to be quite unhappy with myself. Um, but yes, I, I really do think the game could be a lot of fun. I, as I said before, I'm not a huge FPS player, but I have... Uh, FPSs have their moments. They have their fun. You know, especially with some friends, stuff like that. This guy just doesn't stop shooting, and, I'm, and I actually walked into his fire there, so I deserve that. Um, so yeah, this I, I can't say I'm going to buy it. Okay, I definitely can't say that, but uh, I'm open to to trying it out when it launches. Anyway, so you must let me know if you like this first impressions kind of thing. This is oh busted, and I s no, I thought that was another guy over there. As I said, I'm pretty blind. Um, I, I'd gladly do first impressions of, of a few ga types of games, like, I mean, I, I don't mind. I'll do FPS, I'll do RPGs. I was thinking of doing Dragon Age because, you know, Dragon Age is awesome. Um, but just a quick, you know, once-off video, and if, it really, if it's really popular, if everyone really likes it, and um, I become world famous for my amazing crisis commentary, then who knows? Perhaps I will do a few more of them. Um, same goes for anything, actually. But let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know what you think about the game. I mean, look how it looks. Okay, just, it's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the god rays through the trees. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to get shot down now. I should move. Um, it's fast. It's, it's like, it's, you can be creative with these skills. Um, you can be creative with the camping spots that you choose because this is pretty creative. And you're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're not going to die. How can this guy not be dying? I mean, I'm actually trying really hard to kill him, and um, 
obviously, I'm not trying hard enough. Where is he now? There, I see you. You're gonna. You're really fast. Wow. Now there's just enemies everywhere, and oh my goodness, there's enemies everywhere. They surrounded me. No, died. They're just too fast. Okay, I'm. I'm not cut out to be a sniper. My reactions are way too slow. Um, buddy, please just run around that corner. I dare you. I dare you to run around that corner. I'll just shoot your friend. I'll shoot your friend. Yes. Yes. Shooting the friend. There's another two and a half minutes left on this game, so I'm gonna wait for it to finish. Cloak is not gonna save you. Come around. Come out of that. Come out of that little hiding. Defeat. What? Okay. So I was obviously totally ignoring the objective there. Um, I apologize for that. I mean, this is a first impressions game uh, video, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I've been playing for a little while. Uh, I think I played about seven, eight games. No. Pro probably a few less, and most of them I quit. So, um, unlocked a new game type, Crash Site. I don't know what that helps. But anyway, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this game now so that I can just show you how the main menu looks um, and all that stuff, you know. Just get out of here, please. Please, just get out of here. Um, so this is the main menu. You just press Start to begin. There's some funny, really weird music playing here at the moment. And this is all the option you have at the moment in the beta. Uh, beta, I keep saying beta. In the demo, um, you can go to the options menu. You can change a few things here. As I said, the graphics options, very, very standard, very plain. I don't even know if they make a difference when you're actually playing. Um, but there you go, that's them. A few control options, you can actually use your gamepad here. And... I don't know, I, I assume that when you look at the game options and you see aim assistance enabled, I actually just googled it before I started and I, I thought that, you know, it's probably worth checking out. Um, it, it doesn't apparently do anything when you're playing on the PC. It just looks like they were lazy and didn't remove it from the PC version. Um, when you're using a mouse and keyboard, apparently it's just totally inactive, whatever. Because I don't see anything happening with my aim. <laughs> no one assisted me there. I was playing terribly and uh, no aim assistance, no amount of that could have fixed it. So that was my first impressions of Crisis, the demo. Crisis 2, in fact. Um, if there are any Crisis junkies out there, you can tell me what you thought about it from like a real hardcore point of view because for me it's really casual. I have no idea. I didn't even play the first Crisis uh, beyond maybe the first mission. Um, it just didn't do it for me for some reason. And uh, this one, I don't know, single player could be fun, multiplayer could be a lot of fun, who knows. But uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it and keep checking back here for more.